Hello. Uh, like many people in Australia and other parts of the world, I'm spending a lot of time at home at the moment. So I thought I would take the opportunity to produce a series of videos on what I'm calling quick answers to MQL4 questions. Uh, these are things that I find browsing the internet, people are asking, um, and I think that it might be useful to produce these videos. Today, I'm starting with what is seemingly a very simple function, and yet it causes enormous amounts of problems for people. Um, and as I go through this, you'll see why. I'm talking about IMA on array. Um, now, on the face of it, you would think that you simply pass an array into this function and you get back a moving average of a section of the array, but you'd be wrong. So what I have here on screen is a script that I've written. I'm using four different arrays here. Um, I am, I can remove this line. I'm setting up array number one by copying closing prices in, copy a series, that's why I don't need to set it as series. Uh, Array number two, the same values because I'm getting them from closing prices, but I'm copying them in one by one as in a loop. Array number three, because I want to have numbers that I understand and I know they're not going to change, I'm simply filling that with a Fibonacci sequence. Array number four, I am also filling with a Fibonacci sequence, um, but I did not set as series. So array number four is going to be a standard array and then I'm going to try setting array number four as an array to recalculate the IMA on array after I've loaded the values. Uh, you'll see in all of these cases, I'm calling a function that I've created called showMA. Let's have a look at that. I'm simply calculating my moving average by using IMA on array. I'll scroll the screen a little here where I'm passing in the series, which is the array of values passed into the function uh, and the rest of these arguments are fairly standard. I'm not shifting the array. I'm using count, which is the number of elements that I want to count. I'm using zero here means I'm looking at the entire array. Um, zero shift. I'm starting with position index, which is passed in and I'm just going to calculate all of these as S I'm just going to calculate all of these as SMA. Uh, that shouldn't make any difference to what I'm doing then I'm simply printing the value. So I'm printing moving average um, with the two values, index and count, so you can see what I've passed in and the result that I get as the MA. Just to help out as well, um, I've got a little bit of code here that actually displays the array of numbers that were used, the total value of those numbers, and a manual calculator, or my own calculation of the moving average for those. So this should compile, which it does. If I give that a moment, yes, compile. If I run that, we'll see the results over here. I'll just have to zoom in on this so that you can see these more clearly, but we started running the script initialized using the closes pri closing prices from array copy. So this is the first one where I've simply done uh, array copy as sequence or as uh, series. And I got zero back as the IMA on array result. But if I look at the values, you can see that I had prices of 6113, 6157, so on for a total of 2.45587. Dividing that by four, I should have had an answer of 0.613967. Next, I use the array where I copy the values in as a loop and the IMA on array returned a value for me, 613967. And you can see that the values that I'm getting are the same values that I had previously. So IMA on array given the same numbers is giving a different result. Then when I pass in the Fibonacci sequence, uh, this is really just doing a different set of numbers. It works 3, 5, 8, 13. And I'm getting a total of 29 divided by 4, 7.25. And IMA on array here has returned 7.25. But when I did not set as a sequence, MA on array gave a result of 892.75, 
where I'm still calculating 7.25. Okay, so what's happening here? Uh, and if we set the um, series as an array after loading the values, then I'm actually calculating the same value. So let's just go back to the code and see what's happening. Array copy as series doesn't actually make a copy of values. It sets the pointer of array one to be pointing to the closing prices array. And when that pointer is passed into IMA on array, it simply doesn't work. So you're always going to get a result of zero by doing that. When I copied value by value, of course, I'm not making a simple pointer to the closing prices array. I'm creating a brand new array filling it with values, and that works as you would expect. The third step, Fibonacci numbers, exactly the same as the second, but these are more predictable numbers. And the only reason I've used it is so that we can see them. And here I actually copied in the Fibonacci sequence that I get from this. Um, I called show MA beginning at position number three for four values. And because I have set this as a series, we count backwards. So this is position 0, 1, 2, 3. So what I should be seeing is four values from here. So I should see 13, 8, 5, and 3, which I did when I called the function. Now, let me just tell you quickly about array set as series. Array set a series does, doesn't change the values in the array at all. It simply changes the way the index views the series. Now, if you think about how prices appear on screen, bar number zero is the currently open bar and it's to the right of screen. And bar one is the bar just closed, bar two is the one to the left of that and so on. If you think of a standard array as counting from left to right, so uh, element number zero is on the left and then counting upwards towards the right. Once you do array set as series, then element zero can be thought of as the right and counting backwards then towards the left or counting up towards the left. So I've filled this after setting as series, which means that element zero is on the right hand side as it is here. Element one is to the left of that. Element two is to the left of that. Array number four, I did not set as a series. So when I'm filling this, element zero is to the left. And I've copied in here the uh, Fibonacci sequence that I get from doing that. So when I call array four, passing three comma four, I would normally expect, if I'm just looking at the array, that I'm beginning again at position number three, zero, one, two, three for four values. But IMA on array doesn't use those index numbers. IMA on array always begins with what you would think of as the right hand element of the array. So if I've populated the array without setting it as series initially, then IMA on array looking at the third position is still going to count from the right hand side so it will count from 1597 for four elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, down to 233, which is, sorry, no, there's one more off the screen here, 377. And that is exactly what it did when it calculated. Now, if I then change my array to be array set as series of array four, all I'm doing at that point is taking an existing array that I've populated from 0 to 20, or 0 to 19, and I'm now shifting the index so that index 0 is now on the right-hand side. I'm not rearranging the numbers inside the array at all. And by doing that, when I call IMA on array, I am actually getting these numbers because they are still the 
numbers from the third position from the right back for four. But at the same time, my index, which I'm using to print this, uh, is counting also from the right. So all I've done here is change my own analysis, I suppose, uh, to look the same as the IMA on array. All right, so key things we've learned there. IMA on array always counts from the right hand side, so always pass an array set as series into IMA on array. And secondly, pointers to mode pointers to the closing prices, high, low, uh, will simply not work. Now, there are a couple of extra things that will catch you if you're not careful, and I've created two more scripts. So this is a trimmed down script. Uh, I'm just using array one. Again, it's the copy closing prices to the array, which we know didn't work, but I'm going to show something a little different here. Um, everything else is the same. I've just removed everything except that. I'm just going to clear the logs from the screen. And if I run that, I get an error. I just say OK, and it's pointing me to this line. Now, remembering that I'm passing in a pointer to an array, so series is a pointer to the ARR array. The key thing that I've done here is I've taken that array where previously it was in the global scope, and now it's in the scope of this function. IMA on array cannot see the series properly and will force that array to be global scope. But I've defined it here within the scope of the onStart function, which means that when I get down to this line, I'm trying to access an array that hasn't been defined. So let me try to show you how I can make this work, and hopefully that will make it a bit easier to understand. All I've done now is move ARR1 into the global scope. I stop that and run with no errors. IMA on array wants this array, which is, again, it's a pointer, so it's the same as the ARR1 array. It wants that to be on the global scope and actually forces this array to appear everywhere inside the code as though it's on the global scope. So as soon as I move that into the function, it's no longer being defined in the global scope, which means that anything that attempts to access elements of this array will get an error because the array isn't being sized. And again, now all I've done is move it back in here. I run that and it fails. Here's another example where I've made a similar change. This time I'm taking array three and I'm putting that inside the onStart function everything as it was before, but I've removed all of the other arrays. Let me run this. Oh, sorry. Let me run that. Again, an error in the same place. So the other key thing here then to remember any array that you are going to pass into IMA on array, and that includes passing it through an argument to another function, must be defined on the global scope. So I hope that helped people who are having trouble with IMA on array. I will continue to produce these um, to try to address problems that I see people raising in various places on the internet. Um, but if you have anything specific, then remember, Leave a comment and I'll see if it's something that I can get to. Thank you.